right, guys, there's there's not many days left of the transfer window. Um, can you see a lot of business being done? Nunes to City is the is the interesting one. Um, mm. Just because, well, the, the fact he's trying to force a move, I don't think that ever ends well. No, when a player it does doesn't. That. No, it just winds players up. It's like no, just like. <laughs> Just get on with your game, you know, and don't listen to you know that this this like stinks to me of agents getting in his head, mm. yeah, saying stuff, and it's like no, just just carry on because if a, if a move's going to happen, it's going to happen, and then if, yeah. if if it happens on these terms where he don't want to play and all that sort of stuff, then it's just what are the club thinking of where he's going to? You know, they're yeah. thinking like, well, he might do that here if he wants mm. to go again. You know, it's not it's not a good look at all. Yeah, I don't. I, I like I said. I don't. I don't understand what the end goal is with it. No, forcing no, more money. All. Really, no, I guess you know, I know well, exactly. Really about money. It's like you're going to get a ton of money anyway. So yeah, but it happened you know. with. It has been happening with Leeds, and mm. uh, and it was it was it Nonto that was rumored because he wanted to go back up to the Premier League, and he's kind of come out and said, you know, it's that. There's so much noise going around with these players that it's going to put them yeah. off anyway. But it, agents trying to force that move, trying to get that commission, yeah, and all of a yeah. sudden, it's not always what the player not not what the player wants. I'm sure if he, you know, there was a good offer for the Premier League with a lot of money, then fair enough. But it, it, it's not they're seen as the bad guy though because mm. that's the name, that's yeah. the face that you know. You don't know the agent's name. You don't really know what's yeah. going on behind the scenes. It's the player that's going to get the brunt mm. of that. And yes, sometimes they do down tools and they don't want to play, but yeah. a lot of times they also don't. And it's, you know, if they're being told certain things, that's probably a really hard position to be in for, yeah. a, for a, a young yeah. man. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, you know, and it's, you know, and, and straight, you're like what you just said then about Nante, you know, you look at him and but then you see, well, when he gets on the pitch, he's like proper at it, you know. So it's yeah, not... but things were sorted out, and I mean, yeah, I'm sure you'll be very happy with that result yeah. of the weekend and that Just a little bit. those that front <laughs> three. Oh my god, you know, you've got Pero <laughs> coming from Swansea, and yeah, your other boys are all all clicking. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they look good. We look, they look good. now. Come on, yeah, yeah, it's a long way. <laughs> well, but, it yeah. is. It's a, and it's then... a long old talk. Then you've got, you know, the, the situation at Tottenham where, you know, they've got to offload players first, haven't they? And there's a lot of rumours about Brendan Johnson. Um, you know, but, you know, can they offload that many players in, in so many days to go? You know, it's this is where it becomes so much more in favour of the for the players because they can, like, dig their heels in a little bit like with what Harry's doing at Man United as well, you know, because there's there's talk of it. It's, it's the uh, the settlement that's um, that's holding a lot of it back, mm. you know, of what Harry's owed. Um, you know, so it, it's, yeah, for Tottenham to be able to get rid of players, you know, if they have to get rid of players before they can get Brendan Johnson, then uh, Brendan Johnson, Brennan Johnson. Um, yeah, I think, I don't think that'll be happening if I'm honest. You know, because I don't, I don't think Tottenham will be able to get rid of that many in so many in in so little time. Not unless the wheels are already in motion with a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it just looks like when you leave it like as long as late as this, then little little complications pop up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like where the decimal point is. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with the Spurs players that are talking about leaving. They're all sort of players where you can't really... I don't really know where they go. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I, yeah. That's the problem. I don't think any team's looking at them going, oh, yeah, they'd, they'd work in our in our side. It feels like they're just sort of in forgotten, yeah. in a sense. Do they go to a different country or... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. But there's even talk of, like, a lot of other players going into the German league now. Yeah. You know, mm. Harry's a trailblazer. He's setting it <laughs> and he's setting it alight as usual. Penalty and yeah. a goal. <laughs> yeah. But you're not so, surprised, you know, especially with Harry Kane, you are not surprised that he's that he's gonna score. Cool. That you, quality just, in that league, I mean, yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, but just give him the ball and you know he scores. You know, you give him mm. a chance and he's yeah, he's on it. Yeah. And I must admit, I'm, I am watching the German League a little bit more now. Well, only when they play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
So this week as a player, are you, is there any part of you thinking, well, oh, I just want to kind of just get through this week just in case anything might come in? And my, what what do you mean? Might get so is, is there potential as a player you're thinking, oh, I hope no one comes in for a bid and I all of a sudden have to uproot very quickly? It's not oh, like if yeah. it was at the start of the summer, you've got a little bit of time just to, to bed in. <laughs> if it's now. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. It's... Um, yeah, I think I think nowadays as a player, because you know they come from all over the world now, don't they? You know, so they're all they they they're ready to move. You know, they don't they don't come in and set the roots. You know, like massive roots to to settle in one area. Um, I think they all they all they all know. You know that if you're not in the first team, if you're there or thereabouts, that something could happen. So. You know, ideally, you want to, do you do you want to like be settled, but then not play, or do you want to like be on on the edge and then think, oh, I've got a chance of going somewhere else to play. And I, I would always want to play, you know, because you're going to get the money anyway. You know, you you're going to be financially secure anyway. So it's about doing what you love, and that is playing football, and that is playing games, and you can't replace that. You know, you can't replace where. You know, you get all your satisfaction from. You know, it's a, uh, it's you, you've got to play. You know, even like when I'm talking, like when I'm going to Arsenal and the under twenty ones or the under eighteens, that some of them go out on loan and they they almost like feel like it's a step down because it's a lower league. But I'm like, no, you've got to go and play and get this experience and 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 because it it makes you make decisions that you don't do in training. You know, on a match day, you make all these different decisions and it's great experience, you know, and you'll get people that wind you up more or they're more physical, you know, and that doesn't happen in training, you know. So, yeah, the, the players that are there or thereabouts will always be aware that they could, they might just go to a, tran- you know, get transferred to a different club, at, you know, like that. They've got, they've got to embrace it. <clears throat> if they really yeah, want to and, succeed it, they've got to embrace it and do yeah. what's best and, for their career. You've always got, you know, for me, you've got to like want to try and get better, you know, so go somewhere else if you're not, if you're not in the team all the time, it's, there's, you know, you it, that's where the, the, the great managers bring bring the players in and they give them little bits. You know what I mean? You know, they, they, they give them like 20 minutes here and 10 minutes there and they keep them happy and that's the art of a really good manager. Pep does it unbelievably. Mm. You know, with a squad like that, the way that he get, he makes makes sure that everyone's happy. You don't hear about hardly anybody that's unhappy. You know, even like the Maris thing, I was like, whoa, you know, where did that come from? You know, but obviously it was like, out, off you go. And, um, mm. you know, so, yeah, you've got to, you, you just got to embrace the fact that you might be moving on. And if it happens, it happens. But if it happens, make sure it's to go and actually go and play 